In this video, we present the laparoscopic ureter lithotomy. Experience of the urology department of the Hospital University Hassan II Fez, about 24 cases. To introduce, the urinary lithiasis is a common pathology. Its therapeutic arsenal is rich, contains open surgery endoscopy, extracorporeal lithotripsy and laparoscopy which is a treatment of choice for lithiasis of the lumbar ureter greater than 2 cm. It is a seductive, safe and effective therapeutic alternative, but which requires a good mastery and lastly it exposes to few complications. This work aims at presenting the different technical stages of the realization of a laparoscopic ureter lithotomy with double J intraoperative descent and to share the experience of our department. This is a retrospective study of 24 patients who underwent laparoscopic ureter lithotomy for lumbar ureteral stones greater than 2 cm in our urology department, which runs from January 2015 to January 2019. The technique used is the trans-peritoneal access. Moving on to the operative technique. The patient is placed in lateral decubitus, chopper under the belly. For the placement of the trocars. We start with an open cilio above the umbilicus and at the level of the external edge of the rectus muscle by placing a trocar of 10 mm. The two other trocars are introduced in triangulation as defined in the diagram, one of 10 mm and one of 5 mm. A final trocar of 5 mm can be added for the exposure of the operating site. After introduction of the trocars, we go on with the coloparietal detachment on the left side. The ureter is then searched on the inner edge of the PSOAS muscle. Dissected and placed on a lac. The dissection is continued up to the level of the calculus. The ureterotomy can be done with the cold blade or electrocautery. Comes after the calculus extraction. The particularity of this technique is the descent of JJ perioperatively through the upper trocar of 10 mm which saves valuable time of operation. Ureterorophy is made with Vicro 3.0 in separate points. Extraction of the calculus using a finger of a glove. Finally setting up a redden drain. The average age is 46 years old with extremes ranging from 30 to 58 years old. The male sex was predominant. Regarding antecedents, arterial hypertension in three patients, a diabetes in two patients and a subsequent treatment of renal lithiasis in five cases. The symptomatology is dominated by renal colic and low back pain. Clinical examination, lumbar sensitivity is found in 15 patients. With regard to the para-clinical examinations impaired renal function in five patients. The cytobacteriological examination of urine was culture positive in 12 cases. The average size of the calculus was 26 mm. Seat of stones is lumbar ureter, right in 16 cases and left in 8 cases. The density of the stones is calcic. The sounding on the upper unit found in UHN. Concerning the difficulties and intraoperative complications, three cases of postoperative fever. 
The rest of the postoperative follow-ups were simple in all our patients. The stone-free rate is 100%. The average operating time is 90 minutes and the average hospital stay is 3 days. Discussion. The results of our series were consistent with those of the literature with comparable operating times and short convalescence. We encountered few complications in our series, which is comparable with most of the literature results. For conclusion, it is an effective technique for large ureteral stones especially in our context, a good alternative to open surgery. Exposing to low morbidity with less bleeding, less post-op pain, shorter hospital stay and convalescence. But the operating time is longer than the open path. It requires some laparoscopic expertise with a long learning curve. Thank you for your attention.